Ladies and gentlemen, with, without further ado, please welcome Hillary Clinton as your 2016 Democratic nominee. She has captured 49% of the votes according to the latest polls. We would also like to welcome Donald Trump as your 2016 Republican nominee. Thank you, thank you. The Don is currently sitting at 26.8% in the polls as of today. All right, let's get ready to rumble here. The 2016 presidential debate has been brought to you by Power Design, known as the 9,000 pound gorilla of the electrical world. These candidates before you fully understand if they win over PDI, they've been dealt an ace to win the state of Florida. If you've been paying attention to politics over the past 10 years, then you truly know what this means. Game changer. So let's get started. Hillary, your opening comments. Thank you. Power Design, it is your time. Florida is a swing state, and your votes can swing the election our way. Donald Trump, your opening comments. Thank you. I love Florida. It's the greatest swinger state in the country. My wife and I went to the swinging in the 11 Club in Miami. Great time. Clinton, you're being accused of using personal your, your personal computer to conduct sensitive PDI business. My personal emails are my personal emails. I have no idea what that accusation is. I don't even know how that works digitally, and apparently neither does our IT department. I say we have a burning ceremony and ignite the whole thing. Nice damage control there, Hillary. Way to spin it. All right, Trump, how are you going to create jobs in this country? Frankly, no one is qualified enough to, to interview me except me. But for now, you will do. How am I going to create jobs? I'm just going to do it. You arrogant SOB. Right, right, right. But how? I told you, just by doing it. It ha just happens. But if you must know specifics, I will build, begin by building a wall. All right. How do you plan on building the wall, Mr. Trump, if PDI has consumed all the labor? I have a meeting with Jaime and Raymond after, the after today's debate to secure some workforce. I'm sure we can work something out. Mitch and I have shared a lot of the same qualities. So seeing how successful Mitch is at it, it is going to be a piece of cake for me. And by the way, his plane only holds nine. Mine holds 43. All right. OK, Clinton, on to you. I just really want to say I love that Power Design has so many women in executive management. <laughs> Meredith, can you tell me where you get your pantsuits from? We can talk about it later. Speaking of women in the workplace, how is it a man who's an average five can find a woman who's a drop dead nine? Jim Cuff, where are you at? Well done, sir. Don? Hello. I think relationships in the workplace are beautiful things. I get to work with my family, and I met my wife at work. It is amazing how an average looking man can have get a beautiful woman. Pete Swenson, there is still hope for you. <laughs> All right, Trump, what is your stance on women issues? Be careful with your answer here, because your audience is uncharacter uncharacteristically full of them for this industry. I, I know a lot of women, and they all have issues. Thank you for just securing all of the women votes for me here at Power Design. I'm just stating the facts. And once again, thank you. <laughs> All right, moving on. Clinton, can you speak on higher education? What a great country. Of course, I support the Democratic plan for higher education when even Derek Stewart can get an MBA. <laughs> nice, very nice. Trump, do you have any closing statements for your supporters? Yes. I had the fortunate opportunity of touring this Taj Mahal facility and saw the values that this company embraces. 
accountability, growth, innovation, integrity, and teamwork. How the hell did Mike Place get hired? <laughs> Must have grandfathered in. Hey, Caliph. Clinton, do you have any closing statements for your, for your voters? Yes, I do. Dave Hughes has so many people in his department. I know if I can secure those votes, Florida will swing the election. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for coming. You've heard from both candidates. Now it's time for you to decide who you want to run this great country. Have a great night.